Hi Leo, welcome to your July New Love Tower reading. So Leo, we're looking at New Love. So this could be, I'm going to say, just say it as any given situation other than an ex. So please have an open mind, keep that in mind, and we're going to see what kind of situation uh, for New Love could be happening for you. And I do consider someone maybe you already know but never been romantic with, could be New Love too, so please keep that in mind, or it could be someone totally new. All right, or like a missed opportunity, uh, maybe someone you're just starting to date, get to know, it is very new. You know, it could be any given situation other than an ex, basically, so I'll say that. All right, Leo, so let's see what's going on for you. So we do have the Gaia Oracle here. We're going to get you some opening messages with this deck. Let's see what's going on for you, then jump into your reading. But welcome in, Leo. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in and thank you. My name is Mary, and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. And Leo, if you do not know it, you have your own channel by me link is below you can check it out later and i do a timeless reading just about every single day on that channel and i look at everything i look at all energy so if you are interested in that please feel free to check it out after this reading all right leo so let's see what's going on for you we have gaia wisdom knowledge spiritual understanding we have five which is about change ganesha this came just came out for aries 31.4, stable foundation, um, clearing away obstacles, protection, and guidance, apprehension, 18.9, nine is almost full circle, completion, new beginnings, moving out into the world, doubt and fear, oh, some of you fearing, getting yourself out there to meet a new love, hmm? And harmony, power, self-confidence, and productivity. I just got this one for Aries too. Three, growth, expansion. So I got a feeling here we're going to be getting a lot of repeating cards in the readings. And yes, I do clear, cleanse, and shuffle my decks like heck in between readings. So if you're saying, me, I shuffle cards enough, you don't understand how much I shuffle and clear between all my readings. So anyway, Leo. Hmm. I'm definitely feeling like... Um, you are protected here with Ganesha. There's no doubt about that. And this is about finding your inner peace and harmony. But I feel like maybe, you know, you've been through something which has given you that apprehension about maybe getting yourself back out there on the dating scene to meet somebody new. But this is about, you know, being stable and grounded with this Gaia energy, being spiritually safe and secure. And also knowing what you know now, being all the more wiser for any maybe situations you've dealt with, with in the past. You are divinely gu guided, so please, you know, be aware of your surroundings as well. And okay, you, you know, some of us are, you know, maybe feeling like we're in a really good place, but yet hmm, I'm a little bit scared to meet somebody new. But I feel like here, you know, it's about being self-confident here and not letting like apprehension get the best of you either. So I definitely feel like this is about like brandy dandy new love coming in for you, Leo, like someone totally new, but you have to get yourself out there. That's definitely what I'm feeling here. All right, Leo, so let's see. Let's see what we need to know for you. This is the new Palladini Tarot. That was the Gaia Oracle. And then we're going to close it out at the end with some mermaids and dolphins. All right, Leo. So let's see more about the situation right now for new love for Leo. Oh my gosh, we have too many. And it's like 10 cards. What else do we need to know here for Leo? What do we need to know? New love for Leo. The high priestess. Yeah, trusting your intuition, higher knowing. Hermit. There's the wisdom and going within. And the spiritual. I mean, the hermit can go through spiritual growth. A lot of self uh review inner review self-guidance learning growing expanding kind of energy ace of wands mm. queen of wands reverse i mean that could be you leo as well and the three pentacles in reverse i do feel like there's a lot of fear here at leo of afraid of putting myself out there because what if i get into something that's not going to work so obviously if you're watching about new love you are interested in finding somebody new in your life but yet not overly excited about it because afraid of something not working. But with the High Priestess and the Hermit, which would over trump all this other energy because they are major, uh, Akan is here. Again, your intuition, your higher knowing, being connected, paying t attention to everything around you, and having that inner wisdom and guidance here to know good from bad. I definitely feel that too. 
definitely single energy here too. So we do have Pisces Virgo. That's Aries with the Queen of Wands. And I mean, it could be you as well. Definitely two pentacles. A lot of things you need to sort out about um, your feelings surrounding this. But we do have full circle and total happiness here with the Ten of Cups. And a page of cups could be, you know, a drink, a date. Maybe some of you already have an invitation for a date, a drink, a coffee or something like that. But on the fence, like, you know, maybe you haven't answered this person yet. Or maybe you said yes and you're like, oh my God, I don't know if I should have done this. Or for some of you, it's going to be coming in very soon here with the three of wands and justice. So there's something here about you getting what you deserve with justice here. I mean, maybe you've been divorced in the past. Maybe this person has been divorced in the past, but it doesn't always mean that either because justice can mean soul contracts, past lives, getting what we deserve, universal law and order, truth, clarity, justice, balance. Hmm. Okay. So what else do we need to know about this for Leo? What do we need to know about this for Leo? New love, July for the Leo. Let's see. What do we need to know? Nine of Cups, a very single energy. Again, two, two single energies here. So that's kind of good. Seven of Swords. But yeah, running out of fear. Avoid it, running out of fear. That's not always like lying, cheating, stealing. It can be, depending. Sometimes that's just our you know, us or whatever, somebody running out of fear of audience or strategy. Because this person, they're only carrying um, five swords, but there's two swords. That's only, yeah. So they're carrying five swords and leaving two swords behind for a reason. Queen of Pentacles. So thinking about stability, being committed in another relationship, definitely, you know, in our mind's eye, thinking about that. Like, hmm, I would love to like settle down, meet the one have that stable, grind, grounded kind of a relationship I've always wanted. Ten of rods, but then being burdened and weighed down here. And fear, yeah. So that, it keeps coming out here, Leo. Keeps coming out here. Fear, being weighed down by the possibility of something not working, but still dreaming. Of maybe getting married one day, being committed to somebody, being in that stable, grounded, loyal, trustworthy kind of energy. I believe you're that type of person and you want someone to match your energy as well. So we have Pisces here, which can be a lot of fear. Path unknown, like afraid to go down that path unknown. Let's see what's on the bottom. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> I can't, the King of Pentacles it was a match. Oh my God, there's a match here at Leo. The King of Pentacles, okay. Hey man. Well, it's stuck here, though. But then we have the Queen of Cups, which is about love, emotions, and feelings, and the Nine of Pentacles, which is a very single energy as well. And the Two of Wands is about making a choice and going down that path and choosing that path. If this is someone that you just met or the, they want to take you out or they've asked you out, could be someone that you keep putting on hold or something like that, um, or maybe it's on the table, to either be set up or go out with this person. And there's, I think, a lot of stalling here with the hangman. But what's on, what's stalling here is actually making this connection, the falling in love, the making the connection, and a very stable, grounded, loyal, trustworthy partner bond that's just waiting to happen. But this is energy of keep putting it on hold as well. Now, you can switch energies around anytime you feel the need to, Leo. But, uh, let's see. Let's see. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know here for Leo about this new love? Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. All right, let's see. For Leo. Strike, Leo. That's you in reverse. Not feeling confident. Why? Why? Nine of Pentacles. Just single, stable, grounded, independent, having everything you need. But you're lacking, maybe you're lacking love. Obviously, if you're watching this, see, <laughs> Leo, I keep this energy that you're thinking about commitment, stability, loyalty, and love. But stuck. Okay, that's coming out again. 
But there's that. Oh my God, Leo, I can't. There's that King of Pentacles again. I can't right now. Leo, Leo, whatever this is, there's just a need here to go for it because what's being put on hold is this. Look at this. They're looking at each other. They're looking at each other and they're both thinking the same thing. This could be someone thinking the same thing as you. I would love to meet that loyal, stable, stable grounded partner in my life. To fall in love with the one. And feel that energy. M you know, maybe that's something that you always thought you found and then realized, you know, once you got committed to someone that that's not actually the case. And this could be someone who maybe went through the same thing as well, but sti still dreams of that dream like relationship. You could be dreaming about each other and maybe you don't even know each other. So let's see, we have Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Virgo. Let's see, Temperance. It's a soulmate energy here. Alignment, balance, healing, patience, past life, soul contracts, things meant to be, things coming into order as they should. Here's the Four of Wands which is commitment, marriage, uh, solid foundation, moving in. Now, obviously, if it's somebody new, you know, but down the road, this has the potential to align to that kind of relationship that you've always wanted. Eight of Pentacles, though. But there's that fear of something not working and why something is on the fence here. But there's a solid new beginning here with the Ace of Pentacles. But someone's not willing to take that leap of faith with the Fool energy here in reverse. Leo. There's a soulmate here trying to, al the universe is trying to, right here, Ganesha, trying to align you with the soulmate. Or they're trying to align the two of you up. Somehow. But let's see, let's see how this is going to come together. I don't, I'm not, I don't know if you know this person or not. Um, maybe you do. I don't know. Like I said, maybe some of you are aware of each other and there's that energy around, surrounding swirling around the two of you like you're interested in each other or maybe going out on a date or doing something but everything's just always up in the air but the universe is trying to make it happen <laughs> okay seven of wands and the six of rods so there's the block with the seven of wands to something that could be very successful here with the six of wands hmm exactly what i felt Right, what else? If we get the King of Cups, which is a match to the Queen, I'm going to literally like poop my pants. All right, let's see. Four Swords, definitely thinking a lot about this. I felt that Leo thinking about love and stability and having that type of relationship. Five of Cups reverse is no longer lingering around any kind of sadness, losses, and griefs that we've been through, letting it all go. The emperor. This is an emperor. Oh my god. This could be a business owner, entrepreneur, leader. Uh, it could be somebody that works in material or monetary things because we do have the king, and king queen of pentacles here, but doesn't have to be. But this is someone that's going to be a true type of partner, whether they're an empress, emperor, whatever. Females can be masculine. So, I mean, but we have Aries showing up here. What else on the bottom of the deck? Knight of Rods about taking action. Taking action and being brave. Chariot is again positive number four. Success, victory. Traveling or moving. This could be somebody very uh, chivalrous that would actually come get you the old fashioned way. Come and get you at your home. Pick you up. Take you out and want to be like, oh my god, where they're not bag. I ain't doing that. Hey, you know, whatever. But star, you know, divinely guided energy. Things meant to be. Healing. Balance. I don't think I don't think YouTube will pick up on her, you know, things hanging out. But I don't want to get, you know. Anyway, um, Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I don't think this is someone that you've dated. I don't. But the energy is swirling around this. But it's about getting over fear and anxiety about this. The Nine of Swords reversed. So somehow I feel like somehow you do know of this person i don't think like you really know them but you know of them but the energies are swirling around this about uh, maybe interested in each other or somebody's interested in the other and there's a possibility of like being set up or going on a date 
are interested in doing that, whether it's the two of you and you both found out, oh my God, you know this person, you know, or one of you towards the other, however that may be. Oh boy. Okay, Leo, we're going to get one more row here and see like what is going to become of this. What is going to become of this? Do we have the Emperor here? I don't have the Empress though, but... If it does resonate, Leo, please do leave a comment, a like, all the great things. Be greatly appreciated. What else do we need to know here for Leo? Let's see. Three of Rods. Very soon. Very soon. What else here? Eight of Cups. Maybe this person's at a distance right now. So maybe like if you kind of do know who they are, maybe you're like, well, they're out of town right now or they had to travel for work or their business or something. But I'm almost seeing like looking and like seeing this person walk walking towards the other, like this person's returning very soon. Two of Swords, decision made. Going to make that decision. Not going to be blocked about it. Just going to make it. And there's a communication, travel, action, maybe even Cupid's arrows. Seven of Cups. There is a lot of, you know, illusion confusion surrounding this. But there is communication. Maybe checking out social media. Also, maybe somebody may uh, initiate contact through social media. Like you may get a friend request from this person of some sort or something like that. You know, like, oh my God, this person, you know, if you're not talking to them through social media already. So there could be a connection through there first. And then things kind of move forward gradually here with the Knight of Pentacles as well king of swords so this is someone who speaks with truth clarity communication this could be uh someone who works in military law enforcement uh health uh, no medical medical or uh education communications in some way shape or form yeah page of cups reverse this is someone where the true romantic connection hasn't happened but it's all up in the energy here for it to happen but someone's going to take that leap of faith. We do have the full reversed. There's the energy of this new cycle starting here. And it could be maybe someone's at a distance right now. And maybe it can't happen yet. Death here. Hmm. That could be the transformation. Oh my God. Look at this. We got the King of Cups, which is a match of the King, uh, Queen. Page of Wands reversed though. So it's either this person hasn't communicated yet. The temperance again with the connection here. Is there something about maybe, you know, it's in the cards here for the two of you to start dating, but something is keeping it up in the air a little bit, maybe through someone's travels or work or business or something. And now maybe because of that, you know, maybe you're having second fears, Leo, like, well, maybe it's not meant to be because it can't happen right now because, and then that's happening. Maybe that's just a red flag, but I don't think so, Leo. I don't think so. Can you be strong enough to say, okay, I'm going to be strong and not fear this as a red flag? And, you know, let's see where this goes. Do I have Gemini there? All right, let's get you some... Magical mermaids and dolphins. Let's see what else we need to know. But uh, Leo, everything you need to know is down below. I have a website. Lots of info on there. Absolutely everything you need to know is there. And also you can check out the description box. All right, Leo. Let's see. Watch your thoughts. Yeah. It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. Wow, I said that through this whole reading. Holy clap time to move on it's time to let go of the old and worn out so the new can come in see some of you were thinking about moving on because you're thinking maybe it's not meant to be because of this little hiccup or something like that but i don't think that's the case treasure chest an unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now so you know yeah Divine magic, extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. Leo, I think this is a very good energy. And don't let fear, fear get the best of you. And it's saying here, let yourself receive. Allow others to give you love and care. Receive without guilt or apologies. And the same, wait, wait, Leo, wait. So I do think, you know, don't let fear get the best of you. I see a really good connection here at Leo. It's just like a little hiccup here or something like that. 
but there's definitely a mutual interest in wanting to uh, like get to know each other, set this romantic connection off as well. All right, Leo, that's what I have for you. Again, I hope this helped that resonated. Um, again, everything you need to know is down below. Wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.